Hi everybody, I wanted to um, answer the question that somebody sent me on a direct message the other day, which was, what is my fascia release? And it occurred to me that I talk about my fascia release a lot, but I probably haven't actually explained to those of you who don't know what it is, haven't really explained what it is. So I thought I'd do that now. Um, my fascia release really is a very gentle, hands-on bodywork technique which works really deeply into the body. And the aim of my fascia release is that it's designed to ease chronic pain and to improve the mobility in the muscles and the tissues. So fascia is the main connective tissue in the body. It goes all the way through every part of the body from the surface of the skin right down to the depth of the bones. It surrounds every cell, every muscle, every bone, every nerve, every blood vessel, every organ, every single part of the body. And it almost creates like a three-dimensional web. We can almost imagine it like a, a giant onesie that goes from the toes right up to the head in and around every single part of the body. And just like any other part of the body, any other tissue in the body, fascia can become damaged. Um, and that can happen because of an injury, because of overuse, so something like repetitive sport or um, sitting a lot or just doing the same activity or lack of activity actually, um, repeatedly can also cause the fascia to become damaged. Um, trauma such as an accident, such as surgery can also create damage in the fascia. And Again, stress, which comes up time and time again, but we often underestimate that stress, emotional stress, mental stress can create physical restrictions and tension in the body. So all of those things can lead to myofascial restrictions. When we work on the body, when I as a practitioner work manually on somebody's body, I'm applying very, very gentle pressure directly to the skin, which in turn, moves through the body into the depths of the fascial connections to release some of the restrictions, release some of the tightness and some of the tension to allow the tissues to become a little bit more mobile. And the fascia that's become restricted or stuck is another way of describing it, has the chance to begin to very, very gently unwind. Now, unlike massage, traditional massage, which is very much designed to increase blood flow, to um, create movement and create a little bit of energy in the muscles. Myofascia release works slightly differently because fascia responds, it's been shown in, um, in studies, in labs, that fascia responds very differently to therapeutic touch. And fascia responds really well to warmth and it responds really well to slow, sustained pressure. So during a myofascia treatment, there is no pummeling, there's no fast flowing movements that you might have um, in massage. It's very much about me as the practitioner putting my hands on, sensing where the restrictions are, applying a little bit of gentle pressure. Sometimes that's with a thumb, sometimes that's with the heel of my hand. Sometimes I'm using two hands to create a little bit of traction or a little bit of a stretch. And that just nudges the body into a natural healing process, a natural healing pattern. So that when things start to unwind, when the tissues and the fascia and the restriction start to become a little bit more mobile and a little bit more pliable, whatever was causing the issue, maybe it was a nerve that was restricted by the fascial restrictions, maybe it was a joint that wasn't able to move quite as smoothly, Maybe it was um, the organs. So for example, the digestive organs can often get a little bit snagged up if there's fascial restrictions. Then once those have been released, those systems, those joints, the body as a whole can work much more efficiently. Usually there is a reduction in pain. There is much more mobility available um, and the body can start to move without that effort, without that discomfort. So I hope that answers the question. I hope that um, clarifies exactly what my fascia release is and how it feels when you're having a treatment. Um, and if you have any more questions, please comment. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.